Hey, Dayton Hamvention 2025 had to stop by the Yesu booth and talk to John Cruck all about one of the newest radios yes. on the market, the FTX1. John, thank you for joining us. No problem. Thanks for coming on down. Ha having a good show so far? We are. It's, um, is it Monday yet? Yeah. That's what I'm wondering. <laughs> so, bright and early, uh, but tell us all about the FTX1. Uh, what can folks expect? So, um, this is the FTX1 uh, series. And the reason we're calling it the FTX1 series is because realistically, it is either one radio, which you have the field, or it's the Optima, where you in essence have two radios. So as you see right here, this is the entire radio um, here. A lot of people said, you know, what is the rough size of it? How big is it? Well, you can kind of see it's kind of a, a, it's not a mobile design. We've never said it was a mobile design, but it does have some features that like are like the 991, the FT710, where you can take it with you, has feet on the side of it, and then has carrying handle if you want to go out into the field with it. So you do have that flexibility on there. But the reason that we said when you get the Optima, it's kind of two radios in one, is because of how we design this radio. This is the radio itself. Right here, as you see it, this is the whole radio here. This whole component part right here is the SPA1, which is the amplifier. So when people said, how big is it? What are the features of it? It's designed to be this way where it's two radios in one. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kinda take it off, uh, power it off here, and I'm gonna disconnect it because I wanna show people there. That's how simple it is. Now, with this great radio, we attach the battery right to it, and now you hook your antenna to it, you plug in your microphone on the side here, and now you're walking around and using this great radio on it here. Now, what is the big difference? Well, as we said, this is the FTX1 in the field configuration. Field configuration is gonna come with the radio, it's gonna go ahead and come with the battery, the microphone, and obviously supply your great and favorite antenna. But this has everything included in there. It has the dual speakers on the front. It has the microphone jack on there. It has numerous connections. Now this one we actually have on here is to show because people have asked, well they said, John, can this do APRS? Can this do it? And yes, that is our GPS chip, which plugs right into the side of that radio on there. So all you simply do is you're gonna run APRS or something you need GPS, plug it in, look at how small and compact that actually is right there. Now, once again, the field version is this. But this is gonna give you, with the battery on here, it's gonna give you about six watts QRP max. Mm -hmm. When you connect it at home with the amplifier or you can connect it with the 13.8 volts DC there, when you're in the car, plugging it in there, it's gonna give you the full 10 watts. In addition, you can actually attach the battery to it and then when it's plugged into 13.8 volts DC, it's actually going to charge the battery also on it. Now, best thing also too, is we understand on there, take a look and Look at on the battery. We have even a USB-C port on the battery for charging the battery. So now you're going on the field, you wanna say, hey, I wanna charge this battery on there. I wanna take it and um, I'm gonna use it in the car on the way out there. Great, plug it in, use it with the 13.8 volts, let that charge in the car and then snap it on there and you're good to go. Once again, kind of showing how easy it is, we're gonna take and simply plug in the tuner connection on there. Then we're gonna plug in the 13.8 volts DC. We're gonna plug in the um, speaker on there. We're gonna plug in the connection on there. We're gonna take and the wires and the harness fit right in there. Now it's a base radio. That's how super simple it is. Um, couple of the other features on there is people are asking, what is the fan? This is the fan add-on module on there. So if you are running 10 watts on there, and once again, doing something that might be heavy duty on there, like FT8 or, or just, hey, you're running a full 10 watts, you wanna cool off, you attach this right on the back where the battery would go. And then, this is the big one, kids. The FTX1 in the field version does not have a built-in antenna tuner, but here it is, the FC80 antenna tuner, and it's easy to connect onto. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take simply, unplug it from your home operation, and then you would attach the tuner right to the back of the radio on there. But wait, there's more as they used to say. <laughs> if I'm gonna go and I want to make it totally portable because people said, oh, tuners take up so much and everything like that. Nope, we're gonna take, lock it in there. Now the battery is on. Now we're gonna take, lock it on there. Now it's the antenna tuner. So you totally have a complete QRP package. Simply plug this into there, plug this onto the HF port of the radio on there. And now what you have is a tuner on a portable rig, still a relatively small size to carry. Well, so this to me is a fantastic option mm -hmm. for um, 
parks on the air, field day, pretty much any yep. portable ops, Any right? portable ops on there. Now, as they, like I said, the old joke is, wait, there's more. I'm gonna go ahead and if we walk over to this one over here, this also makes it more rugged. As you see, this is the rugged housing that you can purchase for it on there. It gives you more of a protective thing on there. This is actually running with the battery on it right now and the 13.8 volts DC. So as you see, the little red light is on. So not only am I powering the radio to get the full 10 watts, I'm charging the radio. But as we see here, oh, look at that. Boom, just pulled it out. Now we're six watts, but the battery's still running. I'm gonna plug this back in there and I'm gonna pull the battery off. I'm still operating on there. That simple, and as I said with the other one, this even makes it even better for the people who wanna travel. Now, I can attach it on there, and now I have that all in a ruggedized housing on there for a durable QRP setup for field operation. And so how's the availability on these? Are, are these shipping now? Yes, so we are getting them out to the dealers as fast as we can. We know there's a huge demand for it. Uh, right now, uh, we don't have a timeline on there, but dealers are getting out. We're always telling people, hey, contact your favorite dealer, such as like, let's say DX Engineering, and then get that on order, and then we're gonna get them out to you. There, um, there are, the once again, the two different versions, the FTX-1 Field, the FTX-1 Optima, we are shipping them out as fast as we can. We're probably looking for maybe another month or so guesstimate for shipping just the SPA alone. Now, the reason I bring that up is because some people may purchase the field and saying, you know what? I do want higher power. I do want the full 50 watts of VHF, UHF, 100 watts on HF and six, but I bought the field. What do I do? Am I out of luck? No, you can purchase the SPA one as a separate option later. Well, very good. So you can check out the FTX one. All the specs are at dxengineering.com right now. And uh, yeah, John, thank you for the time. You're welcome, have a good day. Hey, reporting from the uh, Yesu booth at Hamvention 2025 DX Engineering. Let's go ahead and check, uh, check out some more cool stuff.